Okay, in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, converting um, from imperial to metric but in two and three dimensions. So um, if you haven't looked at my other videos on the metric system and the imperial system and converting in between them, uh, there's three other videos that came before this one that you might want to look at first. Uh, so what I'm going to talk about today is converting the uh, units between uh, from imperial to imperial and also metric to metric and imperial to metric, um, but using doing it in uh, two and three dimensions. Now I'm not going to go through every example because that would just be plainly impossible, uh, but what I am going to do is I'm going to go through this and um, show you just some specific examples that uh, have been that, that might demonstrate how you do this. Now, the first thing to recognize is that you cannot do straight across unit conversions using the ratios that I have here. So, for instance, you can't say because one meter is equal to 100 centimeters and one square meter is equal to 100 square centimeters. Um, that's not the same thing. Okay, same thing with inches. You can't say that uh, since uh, 12 inches is equal to one foot, then one square foot is equal to 12 square inches. It's just not the same. Uh, so uh, what we'll do is we'll take a look at why this is, and let's go to my nifty diagram that I've done here. Okay, so let's say for instance I have a square, and I'm going to talk about the area of the square, which is the yellow shaded region. If this was, let's say, one foot by one foot, okay, then what we would have here is that each side would be also 12 inches. Okay, and what that means though is that if I was going to square this, I'd have the area is equal to length times width, and that would say that would be one foot times one foot, which would equal to be one square foot. Okay. Now if I do the same calculation with the inches, uh, what I can do is I can say it's 12 inches times 12 inches, which is equal to 144 square inches. Okay, and you can see what, what I've done here is I had to multiply the inches by inches, but also the 12 by 12, which is the same concept that I've been talking about in the last few videos about unit analysis and how the, um, the units in our final products come from the units in the equations. Okay, so you could actually say that it is 12 square inches, uh, but what it is is that it is equal to 12 inches all squared. Okay, you cannot just say that it's 12 inches squared and not square the 12 as well. Okay, and that's how you pretty much do unit to unit conversions. Um, it doesn't really matter uh, what system you're using. You have to do this in all of the systems. Uh, so, for instance, let's see here, if I just get rid of this stuff, if I did the same thing with uh, feet and yards, okay, so uh, what I'd get is, uh, let's say, one yard and by one yard. Okay, well this would be three feet and this would be three feet. Okay, and so the area uh, obviously be one square yard, uh, would be area is equal to length times width, which is equal to three times three feet all squared, which is nine square feet. Okay, and that's how we do this. Okay, it's the same thing for volume, and I'm going to show you this in the metric system. Um, it's, but really it's the same thing. It's just easier to do in the metric, metric system because everything is multiplied by powers of 10. Uh, so let's say for instance this was a cube and it was one meter by one meter by one meter. Okay, so what we would say that this is is one meter cubed. And we could say that that's the volume is equal to the volume which is equal to the length times the width times the height. Now if it's one meter by one meter by one meter, we could also say that it is 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters. Okay, and uh, so what I could do is I could say the one meter cubed um, is equal to the volume, which is 100 centimeters times 100 centimeters 
times 100 centimeters. Okay, or volume could be equal to 100 centimeters all cubed. Okay, and you'll find that the volume here is equal to okay, so 1 million centimeters cubed. Okay, so 1 million cubic centimeters. It's a far cry from the 100 centimeters cubed that most people would say it was. Um, it's important to know then that, uh, that when we're converting uh, between the different types of units that you have to look at the dimensions and you have to also apply powers to those dimensions uh, because otherwise you're just not going to get the right answer. Um, you'll be, you can't just do straight across unit conversion. Okay, what about um, if someone gives you units in the imperial system and they want to convert it to the metric system or the reverse? Well, what we can do is we can take a look at what we do know. Um, and the only one that I ever really remember is 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. Uh, because these are kind of the foundational units of, um, of, the, of the both systems. So inches and centimeters are very commonly used units of length. And so if, by remembering those, I can derive almost all of the other ones. Okay, so let's say, for instance, I had... Um, a square and it was one inch by one inch. Okay, well what that would mean that it would be 2.54 centimeters by 2.54 centimeters. Now this square would obviously be one square inch. So one square inch. Okay, which would be equal to um, length times width, which is equal to 2.54 centimeters all squared. Okay, and um, what I can do is get the calculator out. So I can go 2.54 uh, squared is 6.4516. Okay, so 6.4516 centimeters squared. Okay, is equal to one square inch. Now once I have the square inch values, what I can do is then figure out, well, how much exactly um, it is in, in different um, dimensions. So for instance, like if I knew 12 square inches, Right, then I could use a straight across ratio and multiply. So if I said, well, one is this, one square inch is this, and I said, well, what about 12 square inches? Okay, is equal to how many of square centimeters? Well, because now I'm talking about area and comparing area to area, I can just multiply it. So I could just say, well, times 12. Okay, and I could say, well, it's 77.4192. So 77. 0.4192. Okay, and that then would show me, um, well, would give me the right answer. Mainly, you can only do the straight across conversions if you are working in the same dimension of units. Okay, so you can't use the 1 to 2.54 ratio unless you're just talking about one dimension. Uh, you can't use the 1 to 6.45 ratio unless you're talking about two dimensions. And I'll show you the three dimensional one um, here in just a moment here. Let me just clean up the screen. Okay, so let's say, for instance, I wanted to do one cubic uh, inch. So one inch by one inch by one inch. Okay, which would mean that this is 2.54 centimeters by 2.54 centimeters by 2.54 centimeters. And, um, and you need some room here, so I get rid of the yellow square. Okay, and then what this means is that one inch cubed, and I'm just going to go cubic inch, like that, is equal to uh, 2.54 centimeters. Okay, so the volume of a cube is length times width times height, so it's going to be 2.54 multiplied by itself three times, so 2.54 centimeters all cubed. Okay, uh, so then I could say one cubic inch is equal to, and let's go back to the calculator, so it's going to be 2.54 um, cubed, 
Okay, so 16.387, 16.387. Six four. centimeters cubed. Now once I figured out this base ratio then again I could uh, then go and do other conversions based on volume with this. Uh, so if I had you know, 20 cubic inches and I wanted to find how many cubic centimeters I had then I could just use the same ratio again. And it wouldn't matter if I went the other way too so if I went from cubic centimeters to inches I could still use the same ratio. Okay, so um, that's it for um, multi-dimension conversions. If you have any questions, then put a comment in the com back, uh, comment box or email me or drop me a line in some other way, and I'd be glad to help you. If you do like these videos, uh, please remember to subscribe and hit like. Um, have a great day, and yeah, good luck with your studies.